This popcorn style review contains scenes from another video. Karakuri Circus is an anime about a young boy whose dad has just died and he's set up to be the heir of his like family fortune, but he's being chased down by assassins who want to kill him. And he is greeted by a white-haired woman from a circus called Shirogane and a dude named Narumi who has studied Kung Fu. But as it goes on, we find out that the assassins use sort of like battle puppets, kind of, like, like marionettes that they control in combat. And we learn about something called Zonfa Syndrome, which forces you to make other people laugh or you die. And we find out about automata that are being controlled by the Midnight Circus, which are all designed to, to make this woman named Francine laugh several hundred years ago. Or I should say, a marionette created from the dead body of Francine. Look, it's a long story. Apparently, this anime is a... They, they tried to adapt, like, 46 volumes into 36 episodes, and they really botched it, from what I've heard. Which tells me that the manga must be a goddamn masterpiece because this anime was really good. Like, it's, I'm never, I've never been good at explaining why things are good, but there's such an incredible amount of tension that they managed to create in combat scenarios. All of the characters are likable. About midway through the show, Narumi's whole personality changes. I'm not a fond of that, and it's, it, it, they never really recovers from that. That's probably the worst part about the show. But they keep you guessing, especially towards the ending of the show, they really keep you guessing as to, like, Who's gonna live or die? Like, th this show is not afraid to kill a motherfucker. I, I will tell you that. It went through a lot of effort to, like, develop all of the characters. Like, pretty much everyone got character development in it, including some of, like, minor throwaway villains. Like, there is a lot of effort to just, like, make sure that everything is going forward and developing in a satisfying way. And the ending itself is pretty satisfying, albeit kind of brief. I would have liked to see maybe more of a dedicated epilogue episode. But yeah, like, strong, exciting combat, interesting, f like, fleshed-out characters... A really interesting aesthetic. I wasn't super fond of the aesthetic at first, but I really came around to it. This show has one of the most <laughs> greatest characters I've ever seen in my life, Merry-Go-Round Olsen, who is just a dude with a merry-go-round on his head. I'm not going to elaborate any more on that. He's a villain. He's fucking great. I think he was alive for all of one episode, but he's such a quirky character that I think I will for always remember Merry-Go-Round Olsen because it's such a, but it's a full-sized Merry-Go-Round on this man's head. A full-sized Merry-Go-Round. It is so fucking absurd. I love it. I love the characters. I loved the combat. This show was fucking great. Very, very solid all around. Honestly, I kind of want to read the manga now. Like if this is what the botched version looks like, damn. Twitch and Discord in the description. I've been Sacrobolic, your Envoy of Hope. Bye bye!